hope everyone's keeping really safe and really well with all the horrible things going on in the world at the moment um, and I'm just going to show you quite a nice simple little card using the well changers and the Catherine Paula poignant poppies stamps and dies absolutely beautiful but I'm just going to be using the leaves on these now I mentioned changers just now if you're not familiar with changers there's something we come out with back in March and we call them lightning effects because they do actually lighten down your colors that you've got um, the way it works is there's three different finishes there's a texture a sheen and a glisten and that's what you get here and then there's three empty pots and these are for doing your mixing the reason we give you empty pots is because all our powders and all our jars are static free. We've already taken all the static out of these for you. So if you use these, you know there's no static going back in there. If you put it into any other type of plastic, like one of those tidy trays, that's gonna throw static straight back in there. So it's a waste of time. Um, if you use a plastic spoon, that will put static in there. So we just don't recommend that. What we do recommend is a little metal spoon. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Kiwi Crush and I'm going to use it on its own first of all and then I'm going to show you it with Glisten. So I'll do that in just a moment. So first of all, I've got a card base that I just I do all my cards tenfold style. So I'm just going to put that out of the way. And then I've got a card panel and I've taken a bit of um, masking tape and I'm just going to place that on there. Let's just bring it over just so it's off the halfway and place that down. What you want to do with your masking tape, though, is you, you might be able to see it on camera. I don't know. Um, little fibres where I've actually sort of put it on my cardigan so that it picks up that. So it takes some of the sticky off for you. OK, so first one I'm going to use, I'm going to go for this one here and I'm just going to do normal stamping and embossing so I'm going to ink this up just randomly stamp it down cross over that little bit doesn't really matter and then go that way working in threes is nice and then pop your powder on. Shake it all over. And then I'm just working on some paper here. So let me just get rid of that now. I give quite a harsh flick to that. And then I'm going to take off before I heat my tape so just peel that off carefully if you get any loose bits from when you peel you can just give it a little brush just flick those off okay and then i'm gonna heat and i'm gonna try and heat from underneath let me just i've just got a little bit there where i just moved it i'm gonna try and heat from underneath but if i can't do it because of the camera then i'll have to do it from the top Okay, so the trick with embossing, if you're new to it, the trick is that as soon as you see it change, you move away to the next bit. You don't need to keep the heat on there for it to, to keep going because it will just burn it, basically. Okay, so let me get my bit again. I'm just going to stick this down again. Just get it roughly in the right position. And this time, I'm going to 
I'll get rid of that one and I'm going to take a different, I'll go for the more, more solid one now. Um, let's put that there. And then I'm going to take a spoonful of the Kiwi Crush. And this is a 1.25 mil spoon. So you don't need a lot. You can use a smaller one than that if you like. What we do suggest is once you've made a colour that you love, you can write on here with a, like a Sharpie pen and say the combination that you used and even give it a name if you like. And then that's your own unique colour that you've got. Then I'm going to use one spoon full of the glisten. Let's put my lid on that. And then I'm just going to give it a good shake. So a good shake, mix it all up. And already you can see there's a difference in there. So what I'm going to do now, I've already with the leaf dies, so there's matching dies to these stamps. I'm just going to place this on. Have I done that around the right way? Yep, that way. I'm just going to place that there. And it has to be random, doesn't have to be perfect. Just so that if I do get any overlapping, it's not going to hurt it in any way. So back to my stamp. This time I can purposely go over. When you are stamping on top of something, i.e. paper, just give it an extra little push. I'm just going to... Another one there, and let's go there. Okay, take those off, and then this time I'm going to use the one that we've just mixed up. You'll get bits stuck on here, but that's absolutely fine. We'll just take that off again before we heat. You don't want to heat it while you've got it sitting on there because that will just reactivate the glue that's on there and make it more sticky. If you get a little bit, just, just be gentle as you pull it and it will come off. And then I'm just going to throw that back in the pot. Now I'm keeping this pot. I'm just going to tidy up. Could get a little paintbrush. But I wasn't that organised. <laughs> and I'm working upside down on the card, but it doesn't really matter. So again, I'm going to take this. And I've got all bits of um, powder stuck to that. So I'm just going to wipe that off. Let's get rid of that. So it doesn't interfere with what I'm doing next. Line it back up again. And then this time I'm going in with a second spoonful. No more of the Kiwi Crush. Just a second spoonful of the Glisten. Okay. And again... A good shake. Right, then I am now going to use this little tiny one, which is lovely. So I've got to think to myself, where do I want to stamp? So I'm just going to cover up. I'm going to sort of do one now. I can always, if I haven't cut enough out, I can always just move them afterwards. Let's see how big that is. Mm, no, that'll be all right there. I think what I'll do is just place that there. That ran the wrong way. Got me funny eyes on today. 
Okay. Another little tip on these, if you can get the full stick post-it notes, which I have got, but they're somewhere, don't know where, um, they're really great to use because they're actually going to stick down and then you can just peel them up. So that's a good little tip. They're not easy to get hold of, especially in the UK. I think they're easier to get hold of in the States, but not so much here. I'm going to go there. Little tip at the bottom. And then I'll bring this one up and this one up. Just unmasking it a bit. And then let's go across there. Okay. And then again, we're just going to go in with our powder. And each time you'll see it's got lighter. And that's what these things do, these changes. That's why we called it lightening effect. And it, it really does. It makes your powders go so much further. You don't have to use it with just wow powders. We haven't tried it with other embossing powders. I've got to be totally honest. But I don't see why it wouldn't work. that a little shape to cool it down. So I'm just going to put that there. Tidy up a little bit while that's cooling. I've already gone ahead and cut a black strip and that's what I'm going to tidy my bit up there with so you can't really see that. Okay, I've got a couple of little stray bits but I'm not going to worry too much about those. It always happens when you're on video. Let's just fill this with glue. Stick that down. Flip it over. And then you can snip it off. You could have it either either way. But I was going to do a little, take the lest we forget and pop that there. So I'm just going to move that to the side. Going to use a bit of Versafine Onyx Black. Give that a little stamp down. Beautiful stamps, these are absolutely gorgeous. They work so well. And what I should have done, thinking about it, I should have um, well, I should have stamped it in the middle for a start, <laughs> slightly offset. But who's who's checking, eh? Um, what I should have done was done a little black border around it. But just for now, we'll just go ahead with this, just so that you get the idea of the changes. So I'm just going to... Pop that. Do I want it up? Oh, actually, I quite like it there. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I quite like it there. I usually stick everything down the bottom, but I do like that there. And then I'm just gonna put some foam pads just on the back. These are the lovely Sticks 2 foam pads. They work a treat. And you can always just do a little bit in the middle as well. There you go. Make sure your card's up the right way. And then, oops. 
stick it down. And there we go. Nice simple little card and a little way to show you how to work with the changes. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye.